This is the last Ferrari that we're going to be running on this series and it's also by far the most disappointing R2 you know to ever make it on the game and that's because when I saw a preview of this car I was like oh my god you know the Ferrari 550 Maranello don't judge me but it's pretty much my favorite Ferrari of all time and you know this being the I guess kind of R2 version of it I was super excited for it and uh, then it came out and it was, you know, a proper Italian car. It was quirky and um, and kind of bad. Anyway, this is, I think, the only R2 class car which actually does max out at 1679. And it's pretty interesting in terms of actually upgrading it. I mean, I maxed it out with both turbo and supercharger, but uh, the supercharger obviously uh, is way better, as you guys can see. This is actually maxed. And, uh, it's pretty interesting because with this car you want to max it out but uh, you shouldn't because this is gonna happen it's actually gonna take power off on all three you know pro stages and that's some quite a bit of parts as well for example i don't think there's any other car which has the play uh, the displacement on, on pro a but yeah i really wouldn't count on the upgrade assistant on this one because uh, it's gonna fuck up your car so there you go it's also not the easiest car in the world to run, uh, same with the other Ferraris, you want to launch at the top of the RPM range and if you do, you may get a high 6.7, I think I got one before. Okay, just short shifted the shit out of that, sorry about that. But um, anyway, this car has a huge, uh, I guess, margin for a perfect launch. In fact, the RPMs range from around 2600 to 3000 RPM. And if you launch at 2600, sure, you're gonna get a perfect launch, but you're also gonna get a mid 6.8, and there's nothing you can do about it. But if you launch at around 3000 RPM, you may get, as you guys can see, a 6.798 is my PB with this car. And really, it's, uh, it's unlike any other R2 class car, and that's not a good thing, really. You're supposed to shift it at around 8200 RPM and at the very least, no, it's not bad to drive, but god damn is it slow. Okay, mediocre RT, but you know, minus the RT, we should be running a better time here. Cross at 6.820. I mean, the only car which this is kind of compatible against in terms of speed for an R2 is the McLaren P1 and granted yeah you can kick the McLaren's ass if you get you know um, a perfect run but most of the time I wouldn't count on it it's not very consistent and unfortunately it's not very good and I wanted to like this car a lot but it's just it wasn't meant to be and people yeah uh, people complained a lot about this car when it initially came out so Oh yeah, by the way, you're supposed to ship this perfect, so there you go. Ooh, crossed at 6.750. We might actually get a 6.7 here. That would be interesting. There you go. I mean, that's my PB with this car. Awesome, kind of. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, it's time for the pink slip. So we're going to go ahead, uh, join someone who you might recognize. He took uh, a bunch of cars from me yesterday but you know I was under the C6R curse and he's not in a C6R today in fact he is uh, in the 575 GTC as well eh, except you know it's the paintable one I don't think there's actually any difference between the two you know other than that that's other than that one is paintable you know there you go I mean his is nicer though that's, that's for sure anyway we're gonna go ahead and do this no matter what happens, we're only gonna have one run with this car because first of all, I only have one car and second of all, this car wasn't meant to be pink slipped. Even though, you know, there is this, but still. <laughs> ah, it sucks. He missed the launch as well. Oh boy, this sucks. This sucks a lot. Um, yeah, we're gonna lose that, no doubt, but... <sighs> what a start to class card, everyone. Oh my god, that's... God, that sucks. It was close as well. All I had to do was, you know, get the launch, but... Um, sadly, we couldn't get it, so we do end up losing that thing, but whatever. Anyway... <clears throat> uh, GR, lol. Anyway, 
yeah, this was a quick episode because it's a card that no one really cares about. I mean, okay, it's better than what I initially expected. I mean, it can do 6.7s, you know, really high ones. But other than that, like, you know, it's, it's fucking useless, really. And whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna finish it here, obviously. I mean, not a whole lot of other stuff to do. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm Jerry, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.